Yo, shot baby, it's your boy Nendo X Soul back with another Bleach Brave Souls video. That might happen twice in this video, it's a little butchered. I don't usually make Bleach Brave Souls videos or do live streams, but I want to start getting in that, you know, playing field where I can, like, make Bleach Brave Souls videos because I just enjoy making um, constant on the game in general. So, we do have this new banner coming out. It's going to be a little of a butchered video. So, like, later I'm going to talk about the banners. But I forgot to talk about like what the units actually do. So I'm going to talk about them real quick and talk about why you should really summon for them. And then I'm going to get into the last phase and I'm going to transition a little bit. So we got Dark Rook here. She's speed. Um, <laughs> strong attack recharge minus 12%. No affiliation. Killer Soul Reaper. Now her stats are really good. And then she's a spiritual pressure unit. 815. And if you want to read the rest, probably just pause, because I'm probably not going to read anything. So her innate skill, skill she just gets automatically, Sprinter, Fire Resistance, Bruiser plus 20%, Berserker plus 20%, Devastation plus 40%, Damage to Weakened Enemies plus 20%, Frenzy, Havoc 20%, The, the Hill Breeder plus 5 seconds, Increased Status Alignment Chance against Power Attributes to Reapers plus 10%, Nullify, Rage, Resistance 100%. That's actually insane. So that means like any missions that says, hey, you cannot use a ranged character, which she's a ranged character. She just says, fuck you, and she hits them anyway. So that's really amazing. So the next unit we have, Kokuto. Power. Soul trait, strong attack recharge, minus 12%. Affiliation, no affiliation. Killer, hollow. And he's also a spiritual pressure unit. Skill, sprinter plus one. Bruiser plus 20%. Berserker plus 20%. Devastation plus 40%. Frenzy, havoc plus 20%. Deliberator 5 seconds plus Guard Break. You gotta love Guard Break with your units. And this guy happens to be a Potion unit. The reason why I like this is because Potion units are really like... They're rare in this game for some reason. This game has been out for a long time and Potion units are rare. So now they're bringing them out more and more and more. And I love to see that. So for any like, you know, Inheritance Zones you use, this guy on, he's gonna get you extra potions. So let's continue and go to the last unit. Da 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 da. So Jiro. Soul Trait. Strong attack. Recharge time minus 12%. Soul Reaper. Affiliation. And a Soul Reaper Killer. Ain't that something. Spiritual Pressure 806. Innate Skills Weak and Resistance. Sprinter plus 1. Bruiser plus 20%. Berserker plus 20%. Devastation plus 40%. Frenzy. Havoc plus 20%. Deliberator plus 5 seconds. Damage to Frozen Enemies plus 20%. Team Slash Party. Technique attribute Soul Reaper damage to status alignment and affected enemies plus 20%. So all of these units are really good, and I'll probably get better at breaking down what each of those things mean. But when you see a lot of those things compiled together, the unit's good, especially if you're new to the game. I broke down the banner already where I'm going to transition. So now I'm just going to stop the video here, and then I'm going to look at the supers, and that's probably going to end the video there. BRB. Yo, shot baby, it's your boy Nendo X Soul with a Bleach Brave Souls video. I don't make Bleach Brave Souls videos. I don't. I, 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 I'm not gonna lie, I don't. I do live streams, but I don't make videos. That changes like right, like right here in this moment. That changes. Like I know I don't have my face cam on. I'm still um situating in my new apartment. I'm not gonna have a face cam for a little bit, but um hopefully you guys can deal with this. But you know what? I'm gonna cut the chit chat. I'm gonna get into this craziness because um <laughs> this is this is pretty freaking crazy, especially if you're a new player. So, um, Javari, help me. I don't know where to start. Just say something. Say, say anything. Um, anything. Titties. Titties. Okay, titties. Exactly. This, this is this is this is like a bowl of titties in the face right now. So, okay, we we have the new banner that's coming out, and what excited me the most is that there are movie units on this banner. So I'm not sure if these are like. Would we call these like reborn movie units? Like re like movie units coming back? They're remakes. They're remakes. Okay, They're so, remakes. So, re so remakes of so movie that, units that so, we thought were never so, going to come so, back. So, so, so. Yeah. So, I'll go into a bit of a story here. We haven't seen movie characters since, I think, 2019 about that. Yeah. Around 2019, 2018. And that's because of the licensing, you know, it's movies, you know, they gotta get the licensing, even though it's the same product, it doesn't make sense. But, 
Yeah, they, they, they basically have to, uh, I guess because Thorns in Your Blood War is gone, and because of the whole problem with that, they, they decided to pick back up movies, I guess they got the license back, which is not a problem. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Um, this means that they're going to do um, Hell Versus. They're going to get, we're going to get a remake, a remake Hell Versus on the next one, because if you realize that um, this is a this is the this is a combination of different movies. Like um, Fate of Black, if I'm correct, is movie three. Um, Diamond Dust Rebellion is movie two, and Hell versus movie four. So that means we're probably gonna get the same thing again, and probably gonna get a new Hell verse. We're gonna get a new Senna. Um, Ninja still needs to watch the other movies with me, but that's beside the point. Um, that means that they're probably going to continue. I don't think this is a one-off thing. We're definitely going to see more movie units going into the future. So, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. So I'm going to read through these units funny. real fast, guys. I mean, um, they're good. I'll just say flat out they're good. If you're like a new player, I'd say this is good. And for my reasoning, I'd say because we have potion units on this banner. Um, potion units, if you're not like um, experienced with the game, are basically like units that boost the amount of potions you get. You get those on your link slots and that basically makes your character better. So that's just it. Like let's consider it was Dokkan, you win the orb event. If you bring these units, they're gonna make it like more of a drop rate. So these units are really good and like you know when you go into the co-op they're almost proprietary. So you got two potion units in this banner, Christmas Momo and Mind Kisuke, I'm sorry Javari. And then the top three units are really good themselves. You have Mugetsu. Mugetsu's still a solid unit, right? I mean, he's still pretty good. Yeah, he's still pretty good. He's just eight. Hollow Ichigo's dog shit. That's yeah. a link. Yeah. <laughs> not even a link. He's just bad. He's just, just, just there. Just there. Um, the Blue Nell Yell. Uh, 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 let me... Let, 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 sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. But, but, but think of it this way. Think of Hollow Ichigo this way. I think of legends for a sec, and think think of a PVP, right? You think of your big LS Gohan, right? Now think of a blue unit that is made to counter Gohan, but fails miserably at it, and dropped off immediately as soon as he came out. Damn, that's Hollow Ichigo. He's pretty down bad. I'm not gonna lie. But then Blue Nelly yeah. L and Tenzo Sagetsu. Tenzo Sagetsu, I already know he's I. Right. Nothing crazy. Lunel Yell is on the banner too. Nice shot. Yeah, he's dog. Yeah, okay, I'm so sorry, he's dog. Okay, so we can dog. confirm he's dog. So we, Lunel Yell is alright. We have the individual right, banners. Right, I'll make you a deal. No, 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 go on, go on. I'm sorry. Leo, you, you know we're just I'm, talking crazy. We're just talking crazy. Gonna, so go on. I was gonna make. I was gonna. I was gonna make something. I was gonna say. I, I'll make a punch right now. If in the first or second multi, I pull one Lunel Yell. I, and I'm saying some videos, can't take, I can't take this back. I, if I pull that blue nail out, I will use the move source, I will max them sender, and I will 2020 20 I get it there first. Um, don't do that for anybody watching, just don't do that. But anyway, so we have the individuals. First one is coming on, <laughs> the first one is coming on uh, May 13th, second one is coming on May 19th, and the third is coming May 25th. If you don't know what individuals are, basically the three featured units that are new that come get their individual banners and they get less featured units, which makes it easier to pull them. But that doesn't necessarily mean you want to summon any individuals. And what do you say? Is it lower drop rate? They, yeah, lower drop rate. Okay, yeah. that I didn't know. So you do have a lower drop rate. Because of less, because they used to be more fillers on individuals, but then they reduced them, but they also reduced the rate. I got yeah. you. Just to let me know. Alright, so now I'm just going to check out the supers for myself individually. Like I said, I wish I had a face cam because that would make it more realistic. <laughs> um, but you might see my excitement just watching them. So we have the Dark Rookie here. And hopefully we'll get like a little gist of what her like strong attacks do. And if they're like really good or beneficial to like what you're looking for in a unit. And then we'll get there. So I'm going to allow this to load for 5 seconds. <laughs>
Alright, it's pretty fucking sexy. I mean, it's Rukia, it's bound to be sexy. So now I'm gonna bounce onto the next one, transition real quick. Alright, now we got Kakuta. Now, this guy here is really good, actually. Hmm. Oh, let's see how that third one works. That's interesting. Okay, so just like a basic pushback, I got you. <laughs> okay, that's clean. <laughs> that's clean. I'm really glad these movie units are coming back. Let me go to the last one. Holy smokes. That is clean right Jeez, that range, okay. The strong attacks are probably the coolest so far, in my opinion. Now, I generally prefer Rukia just because she's a ranged unit and, like, she nullifies range resistance, but, like, this is not that bad. Alright, let's see that solo bomb. It's bound to be sexy. I mean, come on. You gotta make it sexy. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Alright, so, out of all of them, I'll tell you right now, I'll keep it a buck with you. I like Rookie as the best. Um, just her gameplay in general and the fact that she nullifies range resistance, there's not gonna be a situation where you can't use her. So, I am gonna say that Kakuto is probably the best unit because of his kit. But I do like Rukia just because I'm not a simp or anything like that. But anyway, that should be it for the video. Um, I'm going to try to get them more organized as I go. Forgive me if it's not the most, like, you know, quality or organized. And thank you again to Hunter here for helping me with the um, video. You should, hear him, you should hear him in the middle of the video anyway. Because, like I said, it's going to be a little botched up. But if you're new to this game, summon on this banner. Just summon on it. Summon, like I, I, I don't wanna, I, just summon, 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 summon. There's a lot of people in here you're not gonna like. Like if you pulled this hollow each ago, yeah, mine Kisuke, he's a potion unit. Momu's a potion unit. Uh, she's a potion unit, I call it a heat. I mean, she's flat, can't blame it. Um, Potion unit. And the three units up here are all equally like good in their own fashion. So that's gonna end the video here for the most part. I appreciate you guys if you watched this long. Much love. Hit the like and sub button if you like the video. Um, and I'll be taking part. Have a beautiful day. Adios and eagles. I've been riding solo for a long time, gazing at the starlight, dreaming of those good times.